Buy a few goods should be illegal. Illegal. Well, do you know what? Yes. <laughs> Funnily enough, it should be. Hello, I'm Stephen Cree and I play Galloglass in A Discovery of Witches. The season three is back out and I am back responding to your thirst tweets. Uh, apologies for wearing a hat. I haven't brushed my hair and I'm incredibly vain. Number one. It's a picture of me uh, in the tattoo parlor with my top off and the message above it says, okay, uh, with little sort of, I don't really know what that emoticon is, but sort of like wide eyed, like maybe like, I mean, it's either embarrassed or wow or WTF or uh, I'm not entirely sure. Do you know, actually, uh, that tattoo scene ended up being uh, a nightmare to film. We had like half an hour to film on the day and uh, the lighting wasn't as good as it could have been. So actually my abdominal muscles are not on display there in the way that they were quite represented in real life. Gallo glass just hits different uh, with a sneezy emoticon. Gallo glass just hits different with a sneezy emoticon. Oh, and a picture of uh, a kind of husky dog doing that, covering its face with its paws. Does that mean that Galloglass smells? There should have been a warning at the beginning of this episode. A little emoticon of a, a siren, I think that is. I didn't realize there were so many emoticons available. Galloglass is about to make you feel things. Embarrassed face emoticon. <laughs> I don't know which things Lisa is implying that Gallo Glass is about to make you feel, but and I can't even think of anything remotely witty or PG uh, to say about it either. So um, I'll just move on from that one. Gallo Glass by the fire or anywhere, please. <laughs> ah, that's funny. That's made me laugh. That's from Amy Zizi. Um, Amy, very funny. What's sexier than Gallo Glass on a horse? Gallo glass on a motorcycle. Am I right? <laughs> Hashtag witches watch party. And that's from the All Souls, the All Souls group. I have to say though, I can ride a horse. I can't actually ride a motorcycle. It's weird on films and on jobs and stuff, they will teach you, and I mean teach in inverted commas, how to ride a horse. And you learn the very basics of it. You walk, maybe you trot a little bit, and then you get onto set and sometimes you're then you know, you're on a horse doing quite difficult things, but you won't be allowed to ride, learn how to ride a motorcycle quickly. Whereas in theory, you are in control of the motorcycle, but when you're on a horse, you're never totally, 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 totally in control. They can do what they want. I love Gallo Glass. Oh yeah, I remember I replied to this one. Love Gallo Glass, although I thought it would be bigger. So uh, I responded with a picture of me topless from the gym to prove that I was, in fact, muscular. <laughs> Low-key obsessed with Stephen Cree from a discovery of which is, take me now. <laughs> with a picture of me that I posted uh, in the gym, flexing my bicep and my kind of five pack. I never quite got to the full six uh, five pack. Um, a distant memory now, sadly. Uh, I can only look at the pictures and, and remember what once was as I tuck in to my second tub of Ben and Jerry's of the day. <laughs> Stephen Cree is so damn hot, like throw him in an outfit from any time period and he is exquisite. Hashtag a discovery of wishes. Thank you. Well, how about this outfit? I'm wearing a, a Kansas City Chiefs top uh, and a baseball cap back to front and uh, I haven't washed and I'm just back from the gym. I'm not sure how hot that is. Uh, I don't know what this means. Modern day gallo glass is a DILF. That's by Shawnee. A DILF. I mean, obviously I know what a MILF is. So is a DILF the dad version? If so, thank you. I appreciate that. I am a dad. Uh, I take that uh, as a great compliment. So um, thanks for that, Shawnee. The books convinced me gallo glass is hot, but the TV series confirmed it for me. Me too. 
Oh hell, Galaglass. Uh, emoticons of sort of like sad, almost crying faces. A couple of broken hearts. Why? Why you had to develop feelings for her? Well, because it was written in the book. And then it was written in the script. So, uh, that's why. Damn, he is so fine. What I love most about Stephen Cree is he seems to be himself, not trying to be something else or prim and proper. I love the fact that he said all the time. And he has the best accent. Sorry, at Sam Hewn. Um, and then a picture of me with my top off, once again. Right, well, I do. And I do say that words all the time. I have to be careful. It does slip out of my mouth quite a lot. It's partly because I'm Scottish, I think. And uh, yeah, obviously Sam gets mentioned. Almost it does the, I think the Outlander fans uh, love to jokingly uh, hit us against each other, but there's absolutely no competition there whatsoever, other than the fact that I actually uh, have got much bigger biceps and a far better six pack than Sam. Other than that, no competition at all. Someone write a love story for Gallo Glass because my heart is breaking. Let's hear your ideas. A Gallo Glass love story chain below. Actually, Gallo Glass and Marcus, we get on pretty well together. So to avoid making Phoebe a vampire uh, and kind of, you know, I don't know, who, do you really want to live forever? As, uh, as Freddie Mercury sang, Marcus and Gallo Glass. Uh, can ride off into the sunset. They seem about the only two vampires uh, in the whole series that smile or have a bit of a joke together. And uh, I reckon Gal Glass could teach Marcus how to ride a motorbike and they can live happily ever after. So that's my idea. I would let Matthew Good break my BA. I would let Matthew Good break my BA. Or my BA. I mean, I've got no idea what that means. But I lived with Matthew for five months in season three of uh, Discovery Witches, and I think he did break my BA. I'd be okay being stalked by Matthew Good. And then a picture of Matthew looking starey in vampire blood rage either. Is that it? I have just started a Discovery of Witches, and if Matthew Good ever looked at me like he does Diana, well, let's just. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's just say if I still had ovaries, they'd have exploded. You know what I have to say? He's a very, very handsome man. He's never looked at me the way he looks at Diana. I can understand that feeling. You can't just cast Matthew Good and not expect me to get wet. <laughs> and I mean, that's the last tweet. And I don't think we could end it on any better than that because uh, I'm the same, you know, the second I see Matthew in anything, I instantly get wet. Thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed. And remember, you can catch all episodes of A Discovery of Witches Season 3 on Sky.